Hello and welcome to The Cook's Pantry. I'm Matty Sinclair. This is Mr. Michael Weldon and this show is all about good home cooking. Mm. And you know, cooking happens at every day of the week. This little number here is, uh, it's more of a weekend dish, I reckon. Yeah, nice. You know, I think there's nothing more enjoyable than, you know, going to the market, get out there, get your ingredients, make yourself a curry paste from scratch. Yeah. You know, a little bit of labor involved, but then you really it's... get to sit down and appreciate what you put in. It's reward for effort is what I feel about this. Absolutely. And that's what makes it so delicious. So that's what we're doing. All right, mate, so red curry, you can make it as simple or as complex as you like. I love this. I think we're, we've chosen some ingredients. Mm -hmm. They're all stock standards, yep. supermarket stuff. And these are, this is probably your baseline. So everything here, that's what must go in your curry paste yep. to get the effect that we're after. So beautiful. you're going to be chief in charge of blitzing that together. I can do that. Long red chilies. Is that, now, that's where we get the red from, surely. That's the, uh, that's the I red. I would like to. Yeah. Yes, yeah. really well played, mate. <laughs> um, 10 long red chilies. Chilies can be a little bit unpredictable. Maybe just taste a little bit of it before you put them all in if you've yeah. got a different threshold with chili. You could leave the seeds out. Seeds would be out. a great way to... Exactly. Yeah. So I'll leave that one up to you guys. We've yeah. left seeds in, 10 long red chilies. That's what we're going We're going with. for it. We're going to blow our heads off. Next. Yep. Shallots. Shallots. Beautiful. Yep. Red onion, if you couldn't get shallots, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, you get a little red onion. Yeah. Um, that'll do the trick. Garlic. Cut the cloves of garlic. Yep. Probably five, five or six, six in there. Roughly chopped. Coriander stem and root. Coriander stem and yeah, root. Beautiful. Yep. Don't throw them away. Always, Always. massive That's flavor. flavor is. Yeah, just give them a rinse. Um, and now we're going some shrimp paste, I'm guessing. Yes. Yep. This is about as funky as an ingredient Ooh. gets. <laughs> Don't get, I got that's, too, I got too close to that one. To, yeah, yeah it, kind of, it has such a valid place though, yeah. like red curry. Oh, like cool. you roast it off, it gives it so much more backbone, so much more richness, mm. and it gives that curry depth, which is what we want. You want to keep that lid on tight and in the back of the fridge, in I the imagine, fridge, once, you, once you've got, got that one going. Awesome, so better, better a nice teaspoon a of that. A teaspoon, yeah. Yep. Some lemongrass. Lemongrass. Yeah, and nice. They're looking pretty good. I'll just give a quick spiel on this. If you cut your lemongrass in buttons like that, what's going to happen? Because it's very, very stringy. If you blitz that up, you're going to have strands of yeah. lemongrass yep. like that that won't they won't pulverize. This separates the flesh from all of that that stringy bark. There you go. There we go. Nice. And then you've just got that that sweet lemongrass flesh, which is beautiful. It'll give you a really nice, it's a good uh, tip. fine curry paste. Ah. Yeah, but, you know, a bit of work involved. All right. So these bits here yeah. they are most certainly not going to go to waste. Yeah. What we'll do. Once the curry is finished, we're going to bake this one. Yep. Once the curry is finished in the oven, we will brew these up, break them up, throw them into the sauce. Extra and what it does, it just sort of brings it back up to yeah, life and lets you like know that. that there is lemongrass in there. And they're not the cheapest ingredients, so you don't want to waste all of that. Exactly. Know, and it's, it, Use it all, maximise it. Smell that, it's, it's delicious. It's one of those, it's very similar to the kaffa lime. You yeah. take a big breath and it, it almost catches your breath. Yeah. Right, mate, and a good thumb of ginger, just roughly chopped. Time to blitz. I'd probably throw a little bit of um, oil, in. oil in there. Yeah, that much. Like a third of a cup. Third of a cup. All right. Beautiful. Wish you me luck. Yeah, here we go. All right, mate, that smells amazing. Smells good. Looks nice and tasty. Oh, yeah, look at yeah. that. Yeah. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? All right, we can start to fry that off. Yeah. So we've got a nice, nice big pan on here, nice deep, deep fry pan. Beautiful. Fry pan. Get a good, good hit of oil in there. Yep. Grab a spatula. A dish like this, this is going to be your best, mate. You want to get right. some out of there as well, maybe? There we go. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. So now it's going to go from smelling good to smelling amazing Incredible. in here. This, this is, is my favourite good. thing about frying curry paste, just that, that waft of all the ingredients. And this is where that dirty dreaded shrimp paste yeah, yeah, yeah. turns into <laughs> MVP. So it goes from stinking up when it's raw to actually giving that nice toasty roasted flavour once it's cooked. Yeah. 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 I love this. That's, you know, I think of dishes like Luxa and it wouldn't be the same without shrimp paste. No, or the um, corn heads or the, yeah. Exactly, so you need the, the, the smelly stuff that, you know, smells bad at the start, tastes so good at the end. The, <laughs> the vital point when you're cooking out a curry paste is called the crack. Yeah. So you can see now that paste is, it's basically absorbed all the oil. Yeah. What's happened, steam's coming out, which means moisture is being removed, yep. which is what we want. And then the oil will split out. All right, that's starting to get some It nice does colour. smell really good in here, Maddie. That, it is unreal. Red too. Yeah. 
But I like the using the non-stick pan because you're not going to risk burning the bottom of your, of your sauce. Yeah, these these Rakos do a brilliant job. They, They're a good number. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, Easy to fry them. something off. Keep it nice and hot. It's like if I'm being a traditionalist and I'm at home. You'd be walking it. My wok, yeah. You've really got to grind it off the, off the base of the yeah. wok and you've got to be onto it. I'm okay with it. But these are these are good. These are foolproof. Yeah. You won't have any issues. Love it. It's the and best thing about food. You know, it? that's a curry paste. Yeah. I think a lot of mm. people out there have these preconceived ideas that they're, they're so complex, they're really hard yeah. to do. No. As long as you've got a blender and good fresh ingredients. And a Michael. And a, and a Michael, <laughs> Michael to, to assist right you. Michael, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to go with the fish sauce. Beautiful. So we're essentially deglazing. Move that around. Yeah, nice. Right. Sugar. Yep. We're just using a bit of brown sugar. Yep. Um, if you guys are quite happy to use your palm sugar at home, go yep. for it. Look at that. Uh, do you want to go full tin of coconut cream? Full tin of coconut cream? Yep. Oh, mate, that looks so good. I love my job. Yeah. Look at that. And see, oh. I think one of the, the most beautiful things Special. about curry, a laksa, anything like that, mm. because you've cooked out the curry paste, you split the oil out, yeah. you get that insane oil slick over the top, yeah. which is an absolute flavour bomb. We should snap an Instagram and do like curry art hashtag. Look at this it. Is, it's brilliant. Chicken stock? Yep. Going with half a litre. Okay. About there. Beautiful. So I'm just going to mix all of that through. The reason why we've chosen the Marylands, yep. aside from the part that they're absolutely delicious when they're slow yes. cooked, aside from the fact that we've chosen the, the Marylands because they're yep. full of flavour on the bone yep. um, and they're incredible when they're slow cooked, yeah. this is the best thing about this curry. We'll pour that over the top, no need to brown any of it because yeah. that skin will be exposed. You'll get some colour in the oven. Love that. The sauce will reduce in the oven, mm. and then you just got to bring it out and season it. So, so this is kind of like just press play and watch the rest of it now. Yeah? Exactly. All, Enjoy the oven. Yeah, throw the footy on. Yeah. Knock up a cheese plate. Bit of the northern footy. Couple of forests. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> all right, so that's all good. I'm not going to season that yep. anymore. Oh, mate. That is sensational. Looks so Red good. Red curry sauce over the top. Do you just want to bang those? Yep. Tear them up. In. Just give them a yeah, rough rip. Sprinkle them. Just get the oils coming out. Perfect. That. All right. Oven. oven set at 160, and that's going to go in for about an hour and a half. Yep. Then we'll pull it out and finish the sauce. Beautiful. Can you grab that door oh, for me? I certainly can, mate. <laughs> Alright, mate, what has our hour and a half investment turned into? Mate, have a look. It's looking <laughs> pretty I'm lost good. For, I'm lost for words. It I just... reckon there would have been a lot of people out there going, that chicken yeah. skin's not going to yeah. It's not gonna go crispy, it's not going to colour. That. It looks, looks beautiful. So that's an hour and a half in at 160. Sauce is reduced. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was talking about, that incredible oil slick that you yeah. crack out of the curry paste. My mouth is generally watering the smell of this room. <laughs> oh, I'll keep oh. that spoon away. I know. I went gonna, to dive in there. We're going to do the old trick. <laughs> yeah. This is, I um, can't find the cooling rack. This is an oven yeah. rack. Hey, I so love we're this. Gonna just sit that one over the top. Give me those. Do you, wanna, you want me to do it? Yeah, go for it. So this will help you strain everything off without having to lose the Marylands. Mate, you're very brave trusting me with this such a beautiful you know what, mate? broth. You've got it covered. Um, and they look incredibly tender. Spot on. I mean, I can't wait to eat this. I'm really it's excited. Good. So we'll reduce this. Nice. So all we're doing now, just making, we'll make some minor adjustments to the to the curry sauce. Yep. That chicken's well and truly cooked. You wouldn't even need to cover that with foil. They're that big. Just it's gonna they're it. gonna hold the heat in there, um, and they look incredibly tender. So like, good. See how it's, it's pulled away from the heel. Yep. So tender. Spot on. I mean, I can't wait to eat this. I'm really it's excited. Good. So we'll reduce this. These are our. Oh, oh, see, I've dropped one. That's all right. We're, these are our leftover. Them, yeah. These are our leftover. Lemongrass wasn't going to go to waste. You just yep. want to give them a quick bash. Just back of the knife. Back of the knife. Yep. Perfect. Take out some frustration. You're mad the curry's not ready yet, so you bash it all. Crack them. And that just gets That's the oils going, up. gets that flavour yeah, exactly. coming out. It just reintroduces that, yep. that beautiful fresh lemongrass flavour. We We've got it in bit. the paste, we cooked it down yeah. into it. It's, it's got a different flavour profile now. Yep. Reintroduce some fresh lemongrass, snap that in. Then we'll put that through zesty, the sauce. It just sharp. It, yeah, nice. brings it back to life. Yeah, it's beautiful. So we'll just let that tick away, reduce a little bit more. I'm excited. Um, again, it, me, I would serve it in the in the baking tray. Yeah. Bang, yeah. middle of the table, bowl of rice. Steam rice. I would Should leave you, it at that. that. I was going to say, would you just a bit of coriander on top or something? Yeah, it, really, really, really simple. And I love dishes that you cook it in what you serve it in. Yeah. It saves on the washing up to start with, and I love for me, the whole idea of eating, especially a dish like this, you're going to eat with friends and family. It's sharing, isn't it? Social. Exactly. Grab what you want. Oh, I just wish that was reduced so we could eat it. That's patience. <laughs> patience. I know. <laughs> I don't have it. You know what I love about this curry as well? 
it's not overly coconutty. No. Like it's not It's not washed out, it's not too creamy. It, it's still got, you know, some, some really, really nice character to it. Nice and stocky. On the top? Yeah, kaffir lime over the top, be generous. Sprinkle it. That, oh. I think, in all honesty, that, that shredded kaffir over the top, that's what takes the, the curry to another level. Just freshens it up. Yeah. Mate, I'm Have not gonna wait any longer. Yeah, I'm eating this. Sorry, <laughs> sorry okay, guys. Let's eat. There we go, guys. A red curry baked in the oven, made from scratch. I'm telling you, Saturday, Sunday afternoons could not be better spent doing this.